Hey everyone, Shaburn 1000 here. Today I'm going to show you guys, a friend of mine, Dennis, wants to know how to put his photos and videos on his computer from his body camera, his body worn camera. So, these are all pretty much the same. This one happens to be a Bob Love, B O B L O V, but they're all pretty much the same. So, I want to show you how to do that. I took a video clip of uh, something on that camera and I'll show you how to plug it in and I'll show you how to uh, import your photos into your into your computer so stick around guys okay so now I know Dennis has a laptop <clears throat> A PC is going to be the same thing, but you'll plug you'll plug your body camera in, and then in one of your USBs here, you'll plug this in. Okay, that's what you're going to do. You'll plug that in. Now I'm going to show you on my PC because it's easier than that. So let me get you set over here to the PC. Okay, so now if you're using a PC use one of your USB ports that's the one I'm using there that's the one I use when I have to plug a camera in because these body worn cameras don't have a removable card now I don't know if yours does Dennis or not but mine doesn't but this is how you're going to do it okay so now now that I'm plugged into the computer like I said it's the same whether it's a tower like I have here or like I showed you on monkeys um, laptop so once you do that, I'm going to plug my body worn camera in here. And it should pick it up. It'll kick on. And it picked it up. Now it's asking me if I want to um, set it up for uh, autoplay. I don't want to do that yet. So what you're going to do, now what I usually use is I use, I still use this photo gallery but that does not come with your computers anymore so what you're going to have Dennis is you'll have photos so if you can't find your photos app just go down here type in photos and it should pop up there and that will be your photo app and then you click on your photo app these are old pictures I've downloaded and stuff that was bare when she was like four years old um, so look for something like up here it says import but this should be the one you have so look for something around here that says import and you're going to click import now the USB drive I plugged it into happens to be F on this one yours might be G, might be G you know so whichever one you plugged it into click on that and this is a picture I took accidentally but this is the this is the um, the clip that we recorded outside so I'm going to click click on that clip all right and then up here this should be highlighted right here so mine it's pink but then you're going to click on that once you click on that it'll give you options where you want them to go okay where you want that clip to go mine's going into pictures I have two different pictures because I have two different drives on this you probably don't it should just come up pictures screenshots or you can create a folder like you can create a folder and and name it body cam and you know and then next time you go to import it you can import it to body cam but I'm just gonna use what's there pictures and I'm gonna um, hit import and down here on the bottom it's importing it gives me the number it imported successfully and then I'm gonna click on this and this is the one we filmed a little bit ago now this is from my other cameras or my other camera this is from the other day but this one here is the one we recorded a little bit ago I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna hit play hit that play button and there it is Okay, so I'll put that up on the screen. 
and um, here in a minute so you can see exactly what we what we recorded it'll be on the screen now <clears throat> when you go okay let's get out of this when you go to put them up on YouTube go to your I always go to um, channel videos or whatever but that pops up but just go to create however you normally do it with your phone go to create upload videos and then here you know however you usually do it but then here I remember you're going to be doing this on your PC or your laptop and I'm going to select files and it should be under the pictures that I put it in and this is the one here this is the one we recorded today okay so if I click that there it is it's uploading the video just like you would any other video you title it and all that but I'm not going to upload just that one little clip because it's going to be in this video which is a lot of editing not really a lot on this one but I'm going to cancel this cancel cancel upload all right so that's how you how you do it from your from your PC well your laptop which still is a it's a PC but from your laptop just like that it's real simple you follow these instructions just like this and 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 you shouldn't have any problems with it so but anyway here's the clip we recorded okay guys so this is my new truck new truck all right so this is being recorded with my body worn camera so as you can see we're filming there we go it's also known as a BWC not to be confused with BBW, <laughs> but it's BWC, body worn camera. All right, so now let's import these into the computer and we'll uh, show you from there what, I forget what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll show you how to put these into your computer. Now, that being said, now I know a lot of people can't afford a really nice camera, but these body cameras, um, like, you know, regular body cam, you see how shaky it is. Um, you know, I've used this many, many times because I couldn't afford a good camera. But if you can, if it's in your budget, guys, grab one of these. The DJI, It's this one's the Action 3. Um... They have an Action 4 out now, but get you something like this that's real stable, and you can put it on your on your mount and put that in your shirt, or you can get a regular strap. But this one, let me unplug this. Like my body worn camera, I have a chest mount like this. It just what it does is just goes up in my shirt. And guys, be careful because when this grabs a hold of your shirt, if it grabs a chest hair, yeah, you're in big trouble. And then, so you can see it's a little rusty there because I've worn this in the rain and sweat. And then this just slides up in there and clips on like that. So, but yeah, that's how, that's how simple it is. But yeah, don't, 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 guys, don't get the, uh. Don't get the GoPro. The GoPros heat up. I seen YouTubers complaining about them. They'll be out in the winter in snow, and you'll see down at the bottom screen they'll they'll put something that says camera got hot and shut down. And we're talking 20 degrees. It gets hot and shut down. Now this this action camera right here from the DJI, I had it. It did get hot one time because it was directly in the sun on the boat. It did not stop recording. What it did. 
it gave me a warning that the screen was going to go blank to save my battery because of heat but it never stopped recording just the screen went blank on it and this is touch screen just tap it and it came back on but then it will go back out again that's just to save your battery but you'll notice there'll be a red light up here it'll be blinking so if you can you know grab grab a dji don't don't mess with the gopros because you're going to have nothing but problems with them uh monkey and i was watching a uh a video of a guy he does um he films uh goes to like a band of villages and stuff he films in japan and um he he had a lot of compromised um videos and stuff like he can't sometimes he can't just go back and refilm you know sometimes he's like eight ten hours away from where he filmed before he finds out well that was corrupted you know he's had nothing but problems with it he said he got the dji and he's had no issues with it whatsoever and he'll never pick up his gopro again and we're talking this guy's got over a hundred thousand subs so you know like i said a lot of those guys are switching from the GoPro to the DJI, and that's why. Because they've had that problem since, I think, the uh, GoPro Hero 9, overheating and shutting off, and they still haven't fixed the problem yet, and that's been years. Um, but DJI, I haven't had any problems with mine, other than my mistakes that I've made on settings or something like that. <clears throat> but it's never given me any problems. Monkey's never given her any problems, um, so... I got this on sale for 200 bucks, and you can get the rebuilt one. This was on sale, so I don't know if it's still on sale or not. But Monkey, Monkey's was um, refurbished, and it still has a one-year warranty. It covers everything, and it was $200. So, you know, if you can get one of those, I mean, refurbished, but still for 200 bucks, you, it's stable. It, you know, you, you can run with it. Here, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go film a clip of that, and we'll compare it. That's what we'll do. We'll compare it to the, the body camera. So let me go record a clip with this, and I'll put that in right now. Okay, guys, so here's the clip. I don't have my wireless mic on. There's a couple different mics than these DJIs, but right now I'm walking around. I am actually, let's see if I can show you in the mirror here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but see how smooth that is? Uh, like right now, I'm moving it up and down. I'm not going to jump. I'm too old for that, but I'm moving it up and down. And as you can see, that's very smooth. Um, so let me let me do that with my body worn camera, so you can see the difference. Okay, guys, here's the body camera. And I'm trying to be as slow as I can be. And I'll show you the mirror like I did in the other one. So, like, if I move up and down, that's horrible. What I do like about this camera is it will, re will record up to 30 seconds before I hit the record button. And it'll record so many seconds after I hit the record button to stop recording. That way you don't, like a lot of times you know you're like, oh man, you hit the record because you want to grab a, a rabbit running or something or a deer. And you don't get it in time. This would pick it up, but, you know, are you really going to be able to see it if, you know, so let's see. I'm going to hold you on my chest. And if I'm walking, as you can see, it's very unstable. Now I got this shooting in 4K too, so yeah, there you go. So there's the difference. And there you have it. Look how smooth that is compared to the um, body worn camera. So listen, guys, I'm going to be doing a live stream at 8 o'clock tonight. Um, I know it's a little late to tell you, but if you see this 8 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time, uh, Monkey and I will be. Uh, uploading a, or not uploading we'll be going we're doing we're doing a live stream we're going to be streaming so hopefully you guys enjoy that we're going to do some talking about uh, future projects and what we got going on right now and we might even set up a slot car racing track and have a little fun that way so 
stick around for that guys um remember eight o'clock tonight eastern time but so hopefully you like the comparison and like i said these things are pretty cheap i think i gave 40 bucks for this and i understand because i couldn't afford a good camera like this so it got me through but if you know if you got any kind of editing software you you can smooth it out a little bit but you can still tell and the sound the audio's not that great the mic is not that great on this i don't even know if this one's working anymore because I, I remember last time i used this it just wasn't um the audio was kind of horrible on it so all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it live streaming tonight 8 p.m eastern time uh, it is Saturday, and right now it's, uh, I know that clock says 1.30, but I never did. <laughs> Spring forward, I never did do that. But this one here, you've probably seen on the desk, it's right, it's 2.30. So let me get this video up for you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. We're gone for now. Dennis, hope that helps you. If you have any other problems or any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, and we'll see if we can work it out together. So thanks again, guys. Hopefully you enjoy your weekend. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, and take care.